tracking storms throughout all of West Texas. This is Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Damian Lee Lotus. The weather is great. Thank you so much to Mrs. Farnsworth's class at Scarborough Elementary School here in Midland. Still seeing temperatures outside in the 70s. 70 degrees right now in Big Spring, 74 for Midland and Odessa, 73 degrees for you folks in Andrews. Even as we head into the evening hours tonight, we're still going to see some nice conditions. We'll have mostly clear skies and some mild temperatures starting off at 59 degrees. Now this is our average high for this time of year, so if we're right there at 8 o'clock, here in January, you know it's going to be a nice night. We will dip down to 53 degrees by 10 o'clock, but even with that, if you have any plans tonight, you can definitely take them outside. It's going to be a great night to do so. Overnight lows, it's going to be a little bit of a different story. It's going to be chilly tonight. 39 the overnight low in Big Spring, 41 for both Stanton, Midland, and Odessa. 39 degrees tonight the overnight low in Andrews. Across the Trans-Pecos, we'll see mostly clear skies, and lows will dip into the 40s, even a couple of 30s. 38 degrees for both Sanderson and Pecos, 41 for you folks in Balmeray. Now across the mountains tonight, we will see some gusty winds out of the southwest, but still overnight lows will fortunately stay above freezing. Right there getting pretty close at 33 degrees tonight, the overnight low in Marfa. And across New Mexico, it's going to be a cold one down to the 30s. 38 degrees tonight in Hobbs and 38 degrees as well, the overnight low tonight in Carlsbad. For your Storm Tracker 9 temperature trend here for your Saturday, it's not looking too bad. We're going to start off a little chilly with temperatures in the 40s, but we're going to make up for it. Temperatures will make a return to the 70s by lunchtime. And with all this sunshine tomorrow, we're going to see afternoon highs about 20 degrees above normal. 78 the afternoon high tomorrow, Midland, 79 in Odessa, even a couple of 80s. 81 tomorrow for both Pecos and Fort Stockton. The average high for this time of year is supposed to be in the upper 50s. So I'm sure I'm not going to hear a lot of people complaining about this. We're going to have absolutely beautiful conditions tomorrow. The only drawback is tomorrow we're going to see very windy conditions with gusts out of the southwest up to 30 miles an hour. So anytime you get warm conditions, strong winds, and dry conditions, that's going to be a recipe for increased fire danger weather. Now right here, this is for a fire weather watch for all these counties and areas highlighted in orange for this weekend. So if you are going to be out and about, there are already some burn bans in effect, so just make sure you use caution if you're going to be doing any type of outdoor burning. And also, if you're an allergy sufferer out there, unfortunately, both the grass, ragweed, and tree pollen are going to be at a moderate count for this weekend. So if you are going to be doing any outdoor activities, it's definitely going to be one of those weekends you want to hold on to those tissues. And for this weekend, lots of sunshine, afternoon highs in the 70s, almost the 80s. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful weekend to get outside for. And now is a good opportunity to download our brand new Storm Tracker 9 weather app. So that way you'll be up to date with the latest weather information as we start early parts of next week. It's available for all Apple and Android devices. You can also download it from our website, newswest9.com. Trevor. Thanks, Damian. We'll